Yes, everybody, Callum Best here. Welcome to my home. Never understand the things that we want. Why do you keep coming back? I want love, you don't know. So why are you here? I'm here with TV personality Callum Best, who has kindly invited us into his home, so yeah. thank you. No worries, pleasure to have you. How are you? I'm very well indeed, thank you very much. It's a new home, I've only been here for two weeks, so it's still a bit all over, but I chose this room because this room's quite cozy. Well, you have got a great setup going on, beautiful place. Thank are you. you loving your new home? I am indeed. I, uh, my old place, I actually really, really loved. I'd been there for about two and a half years, didn't want to move, but... Um, uh, I rented it and I finally had to get out because the landlord wanted to come in. So I had a short amount of time to turn it around, but I found a lovely home in Fulham. And uh, at first I wasn't happy with the move, but as soon as I got in here and I and I set it up right and got loads of plants and a lovely new couches, and now I feel really, really cozy and it feels more grown up in a home. So I'm really happy to be here. Yeah, you've only been here two weeks, but it is really well styled Thank like you you've really done well so do you enjoy interior designing your home do you have a particular home style yeah i mean i think that well, my last place was similar to this it's kind of a real zen vibe you know i really do think about the feng shui of a place and really do focus on making it feel as comfortable and as cozy as possible like i want it to be really really warm like even the the himalayan rock salt lamps and the selenite and stuff like that it gives this really warm feeling and those are supposed to give off ions of of positive energy and stuff like that and the plants as well you know the couch is low the table's low yeah we've got the crystals around and the plants are supposed to help with the the your mood yeah and also supposed to help with the air of the room as well. Which they I'm sure say, you don't know. they, plants are so good for your well-being, yeah. having them in the home. You've got a very earthy feel in here. Yeah, big it's time. lovely. Good. I'm glad um, you like it. And you picked the Windsor. Yeah. You've got the left corner sofa. You went for the scatterback in the colour charcoal. You've also got the two-seater in your kitchen. Yeah. Why did you go for this sofa? First of all, I want to say thank you to you very much because you were super helpful with getting that done. Um, when I moved... Um, all my old stuff wasn't fitting in my new stuff, so I was looking for something new, and I saw on Instagram, I found you guys on Instagram, and uh, I'm glad I reached out because you really made this room work out really well. It, it does look really good in here. It does, right? It? It's perfect. It was it was quick, it was easy, and the it's obviously quality and looks incredible. And when I came into this room, it fit perfect into the corner. I went for the L shape just for the size of the room. Yeah. You know, we talked about size wise what was going to fit in here, with also giving me enough space to to have maybe guests or friends or, and also make it feel a bit more spacious. And mm -hmm. I think we absolutely nailed it. And you've got some great accent cushions going on. Talk yeah. to us about these, they're well, I mean, lovely. I mean, I, I love like simple, these simple colors and stuff, but mm -hmm. I also thought a bit, bit of liveliness, a bit of color, you know, brings it the, the brings it alive a bit more, you know? Yeah. If they're just random, who doesn't love Marilyn, I, I suppose? Mean, you know, exactly. you, can't, you can't really go wrong, but. No, the proper I think color just, is great. Yeah, exactly. And I added some of my own pillows from my old place as well, just to bring a bit of more pattern. Looks great. I'm glad it's you think perfect. so. Perfect, yeah, yeah, you've got great style. I appreciate that. Um, let's touch a bit about what you're up to at the moment because you're back on our TV screens. Indeed. Currently on MTV's X on the Beach. Yeah. How was that experience I for mean, you? Geez. <laughs> it, I mean, jeez. I mean, if I'm honest with you, it was, when I look back at it, it was a lot of fun, but when you're in it, you're like, God, this is brutal. I mean, there, I was lucky though because I knew pretty much everybody that was on the show. Oh, you did? Yeah, and I'm also really lucky because MTV is a massive channel. You yeah. know, like business wise, it's a great look because MTV or worldwide, the show goes out to 110 countries, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, I'm getting messages and, and some job offers from like Brazil and Australia and Argentina and all these places. And you're thinking to yourself, I'm really blessed to be in this position. Yeah. I'm lucky because I did my first show in, I think, 2003, and here we are now in 2020, and I'm still able to do this stuff. That's on, amazing. Thank you very much. On day one of the show, though, I was like, I think I'm a little bit too old to be here. But at the <laughs> same time, I'm single, and I'm like, oh, it's a dating show. You're you the it. oldest. Oh, by far. Were you? Yeah. I feel like, though, you were literally put on a beach. Yeah. You have to find love, and then your ex rocks up. Yeah. Like, it's a recipe for disaster, I mean, no? and we all know that's what we're getting ourselves yeah. into, but at the same time, you, like, have to be shocked. You know? You're like, whoa, my God. <laughs> what my, are you doing My here? ex is here, but it's called ex on the beach now. But you, I mean, the reality is, is I actually go into these things. First of all, in my life, I've learned to grab opportunities and take them, yeah? Unless they're, 
you know, not meant with the best intentions or you don't do it with a kind of pure heart. Like if you do it with any malice, it's never going to work out for you, yeah, you know, sure. but if you go into it thinking to yourself, first of all, grateful for the opportunity. Second of all, I could make this work for me. And third of all, what if I meet somebody? What if MTV brings something to my to, or, or, or to the situation that yeah could another develop. opportunity you know yeah exactly sure. i so, guess the burning question though that yeah. everyone's going to be asking yeah. is uh did you find love well we still got 15 weeks left of the show so you're not so allowed to say we're gotta, not getting excuses you gotta guys. tune in sofa club's gotta tune in and check it out i mean yeah it's there's a, there's a day of madness it, it's actually i don't want to say car crash tv but there are <laughs> moments where you go holy goodness at least you can admit on. it I that's know. fine and have you got any more tv work in the pipeline any fun projects you're working on yeah i mean i've got a lot i've got quite a few businesses that are doing quite well that i'm really proud of one of them being my crystals business as you see yes. i've got a little crystals in my house it's something that i'm really passionate about something i fully believe in i was um, going to touch on that so it's aura crystals isn't yeah. it and it's a pendant range yeah that's right yeah. it's it's aura by callum but it came from my mom has always been into crystals and i remember in my house growing up and i would always see him around and i would think it was probably because i was attracted to shiny objects at the time right but i still looked at him and i liked him and then i started to learn about the energies and then uh I started to wear some myself just personally. Mm -hmm. And then I had this opportunity come up with this company called uh, Crystal Harmony, two um, best friends, two girls that are best friends. Yeah, and they are so lovely. They're so knowledgeable on crystals. Yeah. And uh, they do all sorts from like staple pieces to jewelry to so on and so forth. And they messaged me through Instagram and they said, uh, you know, we'd love to send you some bits. And I was like, oh, I love it. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. Put them in my place. You know, like you have here. I love the yeah. energies. I mean, some people are like, blah, blah. But I fully believe that you walk in the room and you can feel this kind of goodness. Mm -hmm. You know, it makes you feel oh, you can. cool, calm, it's collected. It's very zen in here. It is, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it is very zen, Good. yeah. I'm glad you feel that. And uh, so I ended up meeting their, one of the um, two best friends, one of their partners is a guy named Lee. And Lee was like, I'm trying to do a men's range. So we got to talking. And anyway, I just thought, you know what? There was a niche market. And I, knew in a, and I knew in California where I grew up, crystals have been popular for ages and a few of my friends were doing some business with them and they were really successful. Mm -hmm. But the UK hadn't done it like that. And there was, especially wasn't a, a man talking about crystals. No. So I thought it's a niche market, might be a risk, but I like to take risks. So we invested in a start, our own startup and we launched two years ago. And now we're retailing with ASOS. We, you know, we sell online and we absolutely smash it. I saw, yeah, it's, and, it's brilliant. Thank you very much. And everybody's liking them, you know. I mean, dudes are still kind of, a lot of dudes that are open to talk about it hit us up, but some are sliding in the DMs like, so what does that one actually mean? Yeah. And I'm lucky now because my business partner is super knowledgeable, but I've learned so much over the years and we do expos every single year. We do at least once a month trying to, to teach people about the healing aspects and what they could be. And we send all sorts out to people to try to get them in them. Do you have a favorite crystal? I mean, I actually, I'm quite deep with it. <laughs> I actually sometimes wear crystals on the day that depend on what I have to do. Like I do a lot of public speaking. And when I first started, I was quite nervous with it. So I used to wear like a, a fluorite, which is like this really pretty multicolored crystal that would help you stay calm and grounded. Yeah. So knowing when I get on stage, instead of being like, uh, duh, 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 duh. I'm gonna be nice and calm. Yeah, exactly. I mean, most of the time it didn't me. work. I'm still up there going, oh. <laughs> But then sometimes there's a citrine where if you, uh, you know, if we had a sales day, we're at an expo and we wanted to sell a lot, I would wear citrine because it's supposed to bring wealth and abundance. Yeah. So I go quite deep. They've all got different meanings, haven't yeah, they? Exactly. Um, and you've got a big presence on social media. Mm. Um, you've also got another Instagram page, The Best Me Life. That's right. Saw that. Fantastic. So it gives mindfulness tips, yeah. um, manifestation tips. Yeah. How did that come about and when did you decide to sort of help others in that, in that aspect of life? Well, I mean, I suppose without going too deep, but I've had a... I mean, everybody's had a mad life, I'm sure, and everybody's kind of got a story to tell, but I've had a pretty damn unique situation, and I've been through really lots of rough patches and mm -hmm. lots of kind of dark times um, back in the day, and I think once I kind of came out of my darkness after a long, long time, and I opened up about it, yeah. um, and I started sharing that with on social media, I found a lot of passion and purpose in that. Once I started to try to tell other people of of how I felt and the struggles that came with it and a lot of people, it resonated. Mm -hmm. I felt like, wow, this is finally something that I feel quite passionate and, and gives me a lot of purpose, as I said. Mm -hmm. So I thought, what can I do to continue that? And I thought, all right, well, I'll talk about it anyway, but also if there's a business opportunity here as well. So again, I, I thought to myself, how do I put all these things that I've done over the years, i.e. goal setting and visualizing and manifesting and being mindful and, uh, these different tools. So I put them into a journal called the best me life where we mix productivity of being an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. which I like to think I am with mindfulness of what I think I like to practice, you yeah. know? So we put the two and two together and we launched it again, just like the crystals and it absolutely smashed it. 
that's had to go on the back burner now because I'm going to turn it into an app. So I've stopped the journals because the logistics were quite hard. So now we're turning it into an app called uh, Best Life Map, which is Best Life Mindfulness and Productivity. Amazing. And so it's an app that will allow you to, in the morning when you wake up, you can pick different sections of you know what it is you're looking for so you can either sign up to the app on a spiritual one you can sign up on a mindful one you can sign up on an entrepreneur one okay, or a fitness one so then you give all your details and in the morning it'll send you quotes related to the aspect you signed up for then it'll remind you to have mindful moments of what you need to do you know your star sign all the it's all kind of well-being it's all yeah. wanting to help people do better and be better and all well, that i think it's so fitting at the moment with with mental health being a really big thing mm. um a buzzword at the moment as well with what's been going on recent events is just to be kind mm. isn't it and and both aura and um your other instagram account really sends out positive messages mm. and i think that's so important um but what is your opinion on online trolling and the need for maybe more regulation in the press yeah. because it's a big thing right now i'm sure you've been victim to oh, it in yeah. the past well there's two things there the first one being i am all behind the be kind and it's not and what really annoys me the most actually uh, uh is that I see a lot of people on social media and I'm not even somebody that's jumped on a bandwagon and I don't yeah. even want to make it sound like it is a bandwagon because being kind to people in general in life, that's how it should be, mm -hmm. yeah? Unfortunately, we know it's not for, and it probably never will get that way. But I think why on earth would people not want to share a positive, good message? Yeah. And I also feel that it's so crucial that anybody that isn't feeling right shouldn't feel like they are not able to reach out because I always feel that if somebody's wants to you know if your goal in life is to want to take care of your loved ones and your family yeah. yeah you can't do that on a half empty glass so you've got to do what you need to do to be the most full and and healthy you can be yeah. and if that means that sharing your story or speaking out or asking for help to make yourself feel better you should damn well be able to do it without being criticized for it and i'm really really passionate about that because at one point in my life and i don't mean to take it back to me but the way that i started to heal and grow and better was by getting it out yeah you know and a lot of people feel like they can't do it and i you know as a man as a 39 year old man i want to say to other lads especially because i have you know my social media as silly as it may sound is majority female following but I, as a man i want to say to other men and women and everybody that they should be able to reach out you shouldn't feel pressured you shouldn't feel like oh it's embarrassing i have to deal with this stuff myself I I mean, unless you're just moaning, it sucks. Yeah, but of overall, if you're looking for yeah. real help and you're coming from a genuine, authentic place, mm. you should be able to do that. What is your advice then for people that maybe follow you and they are receiving negative comments or even just want to mm. achieve a goal and mm. they want to manifest it? Mm. How do you go about doing it in your daily routine and how can they implement it in theirs? Uh, so massive one is gratitude it, it's so like all about i know it's easily said but i think mindset is absolutely everything mm -hmm. you know and as soon as i started not feeling sorry for myself because for a long time there was a poor me you know dad passed i have no purpose what am i doing in life and as soon as you snap out of that and you go no i'm driven i'm successful i'm happy i'm grateful you practice all these tools and it changes everything around you yeah. changes my mindset like i'm the happiest i've ever been in my life i look at pictures of when i was like no self-belief to now and i know it's not an easy thing to do but it's doable yeah and they say gratitude is the highest vibrational energy don't they massive so my journals would the journals for example would give you an opportunity to wake up and practice gratitude you don't need a journal to do it but if you wake up and you think to yourself oh, i know i might have a shit day ahead but like what, am, what I am i grateful, grateful for at this yeah. moment and then you set the blueprint for your day so hopefully, you know, as much as you might have some crap things happen to you throughout the day, that's when you, I know this sounds a lot of stuff, but it's really easy to put into play in mm -hmm. little places. Mm -hmm. So like, for example, then you start practicing little bits of mindfulness through the day where that would, you know, the, I was on my way to the podcast and I was stressed because I was in the car and it was late and I was getting really riled up and I thought, there's nothing I can do about this right now. So don't stress out, don't get riled up. You're just gonna be pissed off for no reason. Yeah. Try to be cool, calm and collected and make this moment work the best it can for you instead of being all flustered, getting there and hating everyone. Yeah, definitely. Thank you, Callum. No it's been a pleasure chatting to you. My pleasure. Thank you again for inviting us into your home. No worries. I highly recommend you guys. And I actually am happy to continue on a relationship with you. And uh, I love my couches. I've got one in the kitchen as well. Yeah, beautiful. It looks so, lovely in here. We're so pleased that you're happy with it. No worries. Thank you. Thank you very much.